Hi guys, Charmian here. I hope all is well today. I am going to make a American style chicken and dumplings. So for the starter, or to begin this demo, I'm going to start by simply preparing a chicken to roast it in my oven. Right? I am using on my ceramic tasting spoons. You are seeing uh, sage. I'm going to do a post if you want to see this. Is what sage looks like? It's an it's an American herb right or it's used a lot i should say in america especially during the thanksgiving season they, a lot of their dishes for thanksgiving so uh rotates around seed seasoning they love it a lot during that time whether for their turkeys stuffings and the likes right so this is what it looks like of course this is dehydrated sage this is the sage uh powder you see how dark it is and i have some poultry seasoning some american poultry seasoning it contains things like sage and other spices right you won't if you are thinking about accessing poultry seasoning here in trinidad you won't get that same quality because of course like i said that contains sage and the likes the poultry seasoning so that's what i'm going to use and including uh my main sea salt in my grinder and my medley of mixed peppercorn also um both of them are stonewall kitchen brand i did a feature on a store that a gourmet specialty organic store gluten free store also in west trinidad they go mountain to be exact and that's where i get a lot of my uh stuff like those they carry amazing brands and amazing products right so check them out so i'm about to start now already seasoned before i started the demo the on the side of my chicken I'm just, I, it's just cut in half right you can let me say i'm just putting a bit of oil not too much you can use butter if you so desire right but remember a lot of butter contains some element of water water so um you can use a store-bought rotisserie chicken if you want to save time on this feel free to use that right you all know i don't go too heavy with salt you know is that you are hearing is because it's a grinder so you will hear that crunching or turning noise right i cook with sage in time going by it have a very nice uh nice fragrance in america they use other uh the other sage because there's also black sage and they use it for other purposes but we are not going to get into those things we are going to stay focused on the demo you all know i stay focused right you all know I do all, most of my commentary before and then I, when I'm, when, once I start demo, I stay focused on it. So I was saying you can get a rotisserie style chicken and follow all the steps that you're going to see me do once my chicken is finished roasting. Right? If you want that, and always as much as you can, even if you don't like skin, you can always pull it off after. Once you're roasting or baking chicken, please leave your skin on it. Please. Make some moisture, chicken and all of that, right? But if you are Trinidadian, I said it before, I want to say it again. Ask your butcher to remove your skin. There should be no additional cost attached to that, okay? I want it really nice and flavorful because remember, it's going into this one pot amazing meal, right? Which is chicken and dumplings, American style. It's a classic. It's considered comfort food over there and the likes. You all know even though this channel is... Uh, native to trinidad i always say there is only so much or there is uh so on, there is only so much uh local foods one could eat so from time to time i change things up drastically and i go international for you all it's good for you all to learn a lot of other stuff also if you don't know i do a food feature on my facebook page about different foods and so forth and uh, herbs and the likes daily on my Facebook page, name of that page is Who by Shamian. You see, we need to educate ourselves as much as possible. As if you travel or if you go into a high end restaurant and he likes, you don't want to end up seeming somewhat ignorant. By ignorant, I mean the definition of ignorant is without knowledge. It's not even what we would have think it was growing up here in Trinidad. The word ignorant speaks of being without knowledge or lacking knowledge, right? So you want to pay attention things like that so if you want to learn about food very quick bits of information nothing too long and drawn out 
you need to follow me on my Facebook page or like my Facebook page Food by Shamiel and you're going to learn a lot you'll be able to have proper culinary conversations with anyone they might uh, be impressed with how much you know you'll be able to hold your own with a lot of the big uh, big guns and so forth in the culinary world because like I said daily I run a feature on different things educating my followers because even though I'm a born Trinidadian born and bred I was born right here um, I love international stuff what happened is I early part of my uh, my life my adult life I lived in Dutch St. Martin and you know they cook different terrace and they have their own takes and name and stuff and so forth and so forth even though I didn't cook out there when I lived in St. Martin but I have an appreciation for international food and I don't get time to watch or read international dishes but I just have an appreciation for international food because I like food that is very subtle in your mind the flavor I don't like uh, I don't like Sharon Benny and the likes. I use it, but I don't like it because these things are just too powerful for my teas. Right? And internationally, they don't cook with those stuff. I don't like cooking butter and, and I don't cook with ketchup and so forth. But if I'm going to do a demo and cause for ketchup, believe me, I will use it, but I just, it's not what I do. I don't cook with those things. I know it has some Trinidadians. I know it has some Trinidadians. They can't cook with all their cooking butter and their ketchup. But I don't. I'm not here to knock or bring down anyone. I just don't. I cook more on the healthy side, and I think that is why I am uh, uh, receive as much as I am. And I cook very simple. I have a lot of people telling me all the time, Shannon, we tried it and it's perfection. And that's always what I aim to do. So I've said all of that. You want to cover your chicken to roast it. If you're going to roast it for like, I'm just saying a time. If you're going to roast it for like 40 minutes, you need to cover it for the first 30. Today, cook it covered, and then for the last 10 minutes, uncover it so that you will have nice color. Even though it's on a winter pot, I still want it fully cooked and so forth because dumplings won't take long to cook. Remember, it's chicken and dumpling demo, right? It is a chicken and dumpling demo. So just keep watching. I'm going, I'm not gonna miss any step of this demo for you all. You all know I go in detail, in detail, in depth when I'm covering a demo for you all, right? Just keep watching as I bring it together. Let me say. When you are baking anything, don't ever put it closest to the uh, rack that is closest to the floor of your oven. And I don't speak on oven time and so forth for a number of reasons. That will depend on the age and model of your stove and whether it's gas or electric. You will know your oven be here, so just monitor whatever it is you are baking. But just to have perfection, always bake it on the middle or the upper rack of your oven, not the floor, right? So keep watching as I bring it together for you so guys this is where my chicken reached to as you can see already dice some usually with uh chicken and dumplings they shred the chicken they shred it but because i kind of don't like how the shredded look looks i'm not going to shred my own so i cut some before hand and i'm just going to cut up the rest of it now you see the color of this chicken breast is just lovely it was cooked to perfection i'll tell you something when you are working with sage I'll tell you something it's it darkens the meat so don't become alarmed and you need to pay attention to that right a lot of the dry rubs darken the meats a lot of them my counter was sanitized is okay and that's why you want to have your place spotless or immaculately kept so that you know if something like that happens you don't fuss about it you don't have to discard it you can just go ahead and pick it up and use it I know there are a lot of rules in the culinary world about how long when something falls, it could stay for and then you use it. I'm not going to get into disputes like that, okay? You all know, you all know my position and, 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 and things like that. You all know kitchen safety is like a big thing with me, so I won't speak on that. Don't even ask me to do speak on that, okay? Don't even ask me to speak on it because if it falls, for me, it's, it's a dump, especially if it hits the floor. I don't care if I'm recording or not. Once it, once it hits ground, I'm going to dump it. It's not going to be used. I'm serious. I'm not kidding you all. Right? We have a beautiful setup in the backdrop. They have everything that we will need for this chicken and amazing chicken and American style chicken and dumplings. You are seeing some white onions. You are seeing my diced carrots. 
I'm not using any frozen stuff. You are seeing my milk in my vintage milk bottle. You are seeing the Baileys. Well, some of you are very familiar, my, my, my returning subscribers and supporters, with uh, that vintage milk bottle. That's what you are seeing there. Right? On my tasting spoon, we have a lot of different sage and things that I use, if you remember, to rub the... to rub the, uh, the chicken with. You all remember that, right? So I still have some there. Even though I don't need it, I'm gonna keep it on set, okay? Is that okay? So now we're going straight into doing our dumplings. This recipe varies by another person. The country cooks of this one will make it different versus people from other states, or persons, I should say, from other states. I'm speaking about America here, right? So they will do it different. So I'm just gonna do my own somewhat different. I'm gonna use three cups. Let me say beforehand, I don't like dumplings containing baking powder. But it is what it is. I'm going to keep it authentic and I have to follow through with adding just a bit of baking powder. So this is three cups of all-purpose flour in here. I'm going all in. Half of teaspoon of regular baking powder. I am saying regular because if you didn't know, now you will know there is double acting baking powder and I use it a lot. Just going to give up a bit of uh, a couple turns on my grinder my stone or kitchen you all know it by now of salt nothing much I won't be using uh, because I'm keeping it traditional and like I said varies by who the cook is I'm going to use milk in my UHG milk to be exact I'm just going to use my spatula not, uh, not, not evaporated milk UHG milk in America, they hardly use evaporated milk for anything. They go to milk is whole milk or half and half, right? So you want to get full cream. If you live in Trinidad and Tobago, you want to do this recipe, you love international food, you need to get full cream UHG. Some things you need to just use the real deal for and you don't mess around by trying to uh, watch your weight and so forth. I'm going to add a, a bit of butter, nothing much. So I have my butter that I dice. It's cold. I'm not going to use all of this. Of course not. So I'm just going to use a bit of it. Probably about half of this. Which is going to be the equivalent to about a tablespoon. Right? I'm exactly following this. You have your dough blender. You can use it. Because you all know I have that tool. Right? I'm going to show you all it. So you can use it just to incorporate it. It's not a lot of work because it isn't frozen. So I'm just going to more or less. Listen, if you don't have this, don't fuss about it. Use a fork. The fork does the same thing. Flour is going everywhere. As one of the things with working with flour, it, it, it literally goes everywhere. If you can't stand mess, well, I don't know. You will have to not work with flour at all. <laughs> it's not going to happen. If you work with flour and breadcrumbs and black pepper, your, your kitchen area, it's going to be a surface with surface. It's going to be a mess. So now it's time for me to incorporate my, remember I already put in the baking powder, okay? Don't forget that step. I'm going to add my, my milk at this stage, right? Remember I said this is not a brand of milk, this is simply a vintage milk bottle. Right guys, please work with me and understand that. So you don't want to ever dump all your liquids at once, you want to monitor things greatly. So we need some more. You can see that we need some more. You are seen with me, so you know we need some more. We still need some more, but always take your time and add your liquids. You can always add, you can't remove, okay? If you want to know how much I'm using, remember I'm using three cups, so you just need to, to keep watching, averaging until you are there, okay? just need the end of it I would say it was probably about a cup and a quarter I had in this bottle but start to start how I started don't just dump everything okay take your time and just you know go through the process of starting exactly how I start you know I could skip a lot of steps when I'm doing a demo right I don't I don't edit out and I don't skip stuff it's for great reason it's for great reason
yeah you all know i could i could come like literally edit like a lot of stuff out i'm not gonna do it because you see when i come on to do demo for those of you that might not be aware anybody that does demo on anything they are teaching in not so much of a, a formal setting they are teaching you all understood that so you don't want to you know we are teaching so we have to be mindful of things like those so let me just leave it to rest for just a bit because remember it contains rising agent which is uh which is baking powder and i'm gonna get straight into uh into cooking my chicken and so forth remember i said i'm not gonna skip any step right i'm not cooking my chicken but you know just getting it in my pan and getting things prepared because the chicken was already fully cooked right and i'm gonna in real time i'm gonna just do everything for this demo like in real time i'm not gonna you know it's not gonna be edited until i am ready to come down with the final product that's the only part when you watch this demo it's going to be edited other than that i'm going to go in real time doing every part of it so only when you see me presenting final product that's the only time uh space or time gap with the demo just keep that in mind Right, so we're gonna move in real time. I'm getting ready to add some butter to my pot or pan. Yes, so I'm getting ready to add butter to my pan. It's screaming hot. I'm gonna add not all of the onion because onions is white onions if you want to use shallots but it's not advisable because if you're not keeping it authentic they use uh they use onions right but if you want to change up stuff because you know once you get the hang of a recipe you can always feel free to to add your own touches to it you know i'm gonna also add half of my carrots you all know how i feel about vegetables cooking and losing its texture right so that's why I'm only adding half of it. And some of my celery, of course. You all know I don't feel great when the table lives in close to its natural state or condition. It's not something that I love to do. I love food as close as possible to its original uh, texture. Kitchen smells just lovely. It's on the next level, the scent of this kitchen. I'm gonna add my chicken stock. Let me speak a bit, if you don't have chicken stock or broth it's the same thing it's just international you know other nations it's come by different names let me add my chicken and i'm going to add my let me add my chicken and i'm going to add my this looks so pretty then i'm going to add my stock this looks ridiculous it's going to stuff some some stuff nice you know whether chicken breast or what and you just roll it it is it's not a demo about such i'm just saying the cooking me is just saying that you know because it looks so gorgeous if you don't have, I was I was going to say, if you don't have chicken stock or broth, and you, you are not one that wants to purchase it, although it has some really high quality good brands, huh? we have organic ones and so forth, even here locally. There's one brand that everybody knows about when they think about chicken stock and broth. It's an international brand that I won't be calling. But anyway, if you don't have it, you just going to need to use some chicken flavored bouillon cubes. I'm going to show you guys what the bouillon cubes look like. Uh, chicken flavor and you put it in some warm water to go right that's all you're gonna need to do so I'm adding my so there went my looks just lovely you also get this scent it's my, get the aroma coming out of that I'm gonna add some international bay leaves because of course you must have bay leaves in it right we don't want to use look, Trinidad and Tobago bay leaves. Please, guys, it's, it's going to change. The flavors are completely different. Take it from you. Know, you all know I don't kid you all. There is nothing close or related to the flavors of these bay leaves when you compare the boat. So because it's an authentic American dish, we are going to stay there. We're not going to change anything and put any Trini flavors in it. Right? Realize the seasonings that's needed for it also. I'm going to get straight into, uh, let me show you guys the bouillon cubes and then I'm going to get straight into doing the dumplings. Let me see it's about, I'm 
let me speak a bit about uh for those of you that live internationally that's going to come across this demo thank i thank you all for watching let me speak a bit about this a lot of times it contains milk or cream right sometimes it, it varies by who the cook is but if you realize the route i took was i put the cream or the milk in my dough so there's still going to be some flavor of that released in there because the dumpling is going to be cooked directly in there you all understood that so i'm moving on to show you guys the the cubes i'm just using a different brand so it will look somewhat i'm using an international brand if you live international you might recognize this bottle so i'm just going to show you guys how it looks my fellow trinidadians you're going to grab it as soon as i get it out of the the bottle this is what it looks like you all know this brand right we're not i'm not going to call it brand but a lot of you are even calling the brand now this is what you want to use to make your chicken broth or stuff right so i'm moving on i'm going to get my pastry mat and start with the dumplings i am making my dumplings flat again that varies by who the cook or the chef is some persons will only make it wrong some persons might think what's going on why am i seeing this person making it wrong some person might think quite the opposite when it's made the way I'm gonna make it. We come to the same conclusion. It doesn't matter what shape it's in. We are gonna arrive at the same conclusion. And I, I can tell you now, a lot of times when you make baking powder, when you make baking powder dumplings or you add that to your dumplings, it puffs. So I will say my knowledge of food, it's gonna be better if we just simply make it flat because it's going to do some puffing in the pot like i said right so let me just dust with some flour and get straight into things you want to make sure your, your surface i'm using my pastry mat by the way it's folded in half if you are wondering yeah it's a big mat but i don't need it that big so i'm just going to uh, get on with the dumplings as I said right okay, so all these steps this is a really easy one but dish and it's considered like a uh, comfort food in the US it's really hearty I had it already and it's really hearty and just so nice I can imagine person so winter how much you feel for chicken feel for chicken and dumplings and a lot of times you hear so much fond memories about those that's having it whether it's their granny that used to make it or their mommy or so forth you hear them speaking so fondly about it i'm just going to use my bench knife this is what a bench knife looks like minus the flour <laughs> my own is just covered in flour it's a beloved pastry too helps with the folding and all of that when we are doing our when we are doing pastries it makes life easy for pastry chefs and cooks and so forth it really does because i'm making them flat and then cutting them into strips i'm not cutting them too small you all understood that so i'm not going to let you all stay and watch me roll out all of this of course not i'm going to just do about two for you guys to see what i'm doing and then i'm going to just uh come back on to present the final product but this is i'm telling you all this is going to become a lot of you all one part classic i know a lot of busy persons they just simply don't have time for all the fancy stuff in the kitchen the three and four dishes and so forth especially when you're a parent because sometimes the kids they don't have time especially on the school days to really wait Four, three different dishes to be finished cooking so a lot of times it's pasta and you like because it goes by like lightning when we are cooking it so a lot of times we we busy people we we appreciate these one pot hearty means you know we really appreciate it it's like wow and then when it when you taste it and they are so good a lot of you one pot meals they are really 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 good dishes taking nothing away from their 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 other counterpart see the three and four dishes together but you know these one but means they are just beyond tasty and delicious i'm going to use a pizza wheel or pizza cutter 
right so we're just gonna do some strips of them not too small you don't want your dumplings to disappear but not too big okay You see, the reason of using the wheel is it goes by faster versus you using a knife because everything is just, you know, the, when you are cooking dumpling, if you don't know, you want to make sure your, your liquids, whatever you're putting it in, is boiling, okay? So, here you can see what's going on already in my pot. So, I'm going to get in. I'm going to get them in, okay? Okay, I'm going to get them in. 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 I'm going to get them in beyond amazing and then it have the chicken stock and so forth in there so you know what's happening in the kitchen right you all see us cook but you all don't smell the food because some of you see you eat a lot of persons we eat with our eyes and a lot of you see how the food looks but smelling it and tasting it is two different thing and the scent is just amazing with this dish so that's why you want to have it flat and uniform and nice. You see how it looks? I'm going to roll out one more for you for you guys. And then I'm going to get off and, and just come back on to present final product for you all. It's just gorgeous if you ask me. And who doesn't like dumpling or love dumpling with anything? Imagine when you put it with chicken, when you pair it with chicken, what's going to happen? And this hearty one, one pot meal, imagine what's going to happen. Right? I know it might be foreign to a lot of you to see someone put butter in dumplings but remember what I said okay it might be foreign to a lot of you after here on a lot of you might after viewing this demo might not ever make your dumplings without flour without butter sorry you might just continue and be like why don't I think of that before <laughs> you know You can always cut the middle if you find for some strange reason it's you know you can always cut the middle to suit okay you can always run with a, a next cut of it look just gorgeous already the purpose for all of that stock is to make sure our dumplings are cooked already right because remember we have already cooked chicken so there is no need for the chicken to cook let me say you can make it also with raw chicken eh? but first you need to cook your chicken cut your chicken breast and get it cooked before you vent here yeah, to do that you can't put it in with the raw your chicken needs to be cooked properly and thoroughly i prefer the roasting style of the chicken before and like i said at the start of this demo at the start of this demo you can buy a rotisserie chicken it's just gonna cut the time in half right so keep watching as we as i bring it to uh together for you all so this is where our chicken american chicken and dumplings reach to i want to speak a little bit about something it's not as creamy as i like it to be so i'm going to add some half and half okay what is half and half you might ask if you are training half and half is milk and cream i'm going to show you guys the brand i get if you want to know where i purchase it not a lot of places sell these things in Trinidad. Comment below whichever platform you might be viewing this time. Go on, comment below, and I'm going to answer you once I see it. Because if you share it and um, we are not connected on social media, I may not see it. So it's better if you comment on YouTube, right? If you are not connected to me, I need it to be creamy, like I said. So this is the purpose of me adding the half and half, right? I don't want it to, to share and so forth. I need it to have that really nice creamy look. Don't need much cooking because it is pasteurized half and half that I'm using. And so I needed it to get kind of creamy. Well, remember I use uh, milk in the in my dumplings right but still it wasn't where I wanted it to be so like I said I needed to add I'm gonna put in the rest of my carrots and my taste is just amazing by the way I'm gonna add the rest of my carrots don't worry about it not cooking because the heat or the steam is gonna steam off I'm gonna add the rest of my onions also my white onions Right? You always want to reserve some of your stuff for 
when you are almost finished cooking because it cooks off and it loses its texture and everything else, right? I want to show you all the packaging of that half and half. I really want to show you all it. So I'm going to go back to my counter area to show you guys it, right? This is what half and half looks like. It's gritty, ultra pasteurized. It's made with real cream and milk, no artificial cream, real cream. Like I said, if you want to know which brand it is, comment below. Right, so this is what our chicken and dumpling looks like. And dumplings, I see dumpling, dumplings. And this is where I want to take it off. This is right where I want to take it off. I'm just going to garnish with some of my, uh, with some of my celery. Remember the seasonings that was used. If you can't remember, please go back and listen. Remember, this is not a Trinidad and Tobago dish by any stretch of the imagination, okay? So don't, don't think it is because it isn't. It's just a gorgeous pot of chicken and dumplings, if you ask me. Yes, you can use the, if you're from America or the international world, you might be wondering how my celery stalks is that small because I'm using local celery, local celery to Trinidad and Tobago, right? You'll get the big stalks, that's going to be perfect in here. It's just a hearty pot of goodness. Hearty pot of goodness. It's just really, 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 really good. I can't explain how good it is for you to understand. You see it, you see it looks good, but when you if you get a taste of it, it's on the next level. And if you're someone, as I said, Johnny Demo that loves one pot meat, you're gonna appreciate this a great deal. So I'm just getting ready to plate it because like I said, the demo is finished. So I'm getting ready to plate and for us to, you know, shut down. You see the big, uh, lovely pieces of the chicken in here, right? Look at it. Don't cut your chicken too small. And that's why I don't want to pull it apart. That's why I said I'm going to dice it or, or cube it somewhat, you know? Take out your bay leaf before serving your, your chicken and dumplings, okay? You want to really get that out of there. You don't want to leave that. It's dangerous to eat bay leaves. And that's why you wanted to reserve some of your... Some of your... Uh, your seasonings and carrots and such for at this stage. Because if I, if I cooked off all, it would not have been as gorgeous as it is now. I'm telling you, it would not have been. Right, you are seeing this nice piece of onion. I needed to get into my bowl. It looks just really, really good. Yeah, so it just looks so gorgeous. It's, it's, it's almost like there is no way to explain this goodness. There is <laughs> seriously, there is no way to explain it. It's so pretty. It's beyond pretty. I'm just gonna garnish. Let me just move some of the stuff that I don't want out of the way. This is just the uh, my gravy boat that I had my cream in. I'm just getting it out of the way now. And let me move these tasting spoons also. Because I just like my stuff to be all by itself once I'm finished cooking. Right, so that's all I'm doing, just trying to get it all by itself. I'm, I'm gonna move the pepper and salt also. I don't need anything there besides this other spoon. So I'm just gonna garnish with a bit of my, uh, my celery, freshly chopped celery. It's all on my plate, I'm gonna remove it. It's bothering me some more. And celery is really good. There's a lot of heart benefits and health benefits to celery, okay? You can't ever use too much of it. Believe me, it's just really, really good. Alright? Guys, you all know it was my pleasure. You all know Food and Shami and we are all over social media. 
we are on Instagram. If you are new, we are on Instagram. We are on Facebook. And of course, the YouTube channel here, all under one name. Our website is finished building. It's also under the same name, Food by Shami, unlike the rest of um, our social media accounts. If you want to come into direct contact with me, send me an email an email on email address food by shamion at gmail.com if you comment below i'm gonna answer in a timely manner it's what i do i guarantee you that guys until i'm with you all thanks for watching thanks for all your love support and encouragement and bye